All right, folks, another uh, CPU benchmark. We'll do three uh, benchmarks in this video. So this is the i5-13600KF, 16 gigs of RAM, and I don't have it overclocked, but we'll just see how it goes. We're more concerned about the temps than the scores here. B660 Gaming X AX DDR4 motherboard. This is the one, this is the motherboard that has some slight damage to it. Um, GTX 1080, and we're running Windows 11 on it. So, what we're featuring here is a Thermalrite uh, CPU cooler. I think it's the Assassin 90SE, if I remember correctly. It's a smaller tower with a 90 millimeter or 92 millimeter CPU fan. So, a little on the dinky side. I, not ideal for this uh, CPU. Uh, basement temps are 67 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So let's go ahead and do our first benchmark. And I'm going to compile all these together. Um, I've got three thermal rights and I have a deep cool, uh, I think it's AG400. And trying to think of one other cooler that we'll probably try and run with it. Maybe the Noctua Redux uh, NHU-12S. But it'll be basically a shootout, you know, um, ranging from a $17 cooler all the way up to a uh, $50 cooler. All right. So you see the score there, 7715. Not the best score with this CPU cooler. It can do a lot better in a better motherboard. Uh, something like a Z690, Z790. And I think we have power limits set all the way up. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Power limits are all... So everything else is default, right? Because you can't do anything in here. It's all locked out. There's your multipliers. Uh, so... It said 83 wattage. 166, 164, somewhere in that range. It's not necessarily the most accurate way to uh, see what the power usage was by the CPU, but it'll do. All right, so we're going to clear this out. Then we're going to bring up uh, Cinebench R20. And I want to get the max um, what the max and the average temp is on that. I guess actually we should clear this out one more time because it took forever. All right, so this thing doesn't get super cool, but not too bad. All right, temp's probably going to get close to 90, I would imagine. I did a gaming video of this with this set up, and I forgot to... Uh, turn on MSI Afterburner, which was a total disappointment. And in this video, of course, we forgot to do this for you guys. All right, so you can see the power usage and the temps have gone up. And now they're dropping off. So we want to get in here and check these while we can. So recent max 95, you know, whether that average is that very accurate, it's going to drop. But uh, uh, actually, average temp for that is, is useless. For a game, it's another story. Uh, you see 187, so we're somewhere around 185, 187. And then the score itself, 9,003. Uh, I can't tell you when this was done before what the uh, motherboard was, but you can kind of tell that uh, it didn't fare so great. All right. Or did better, excuse me, previously. Let's go ahead and get Cinebench R23 up.
And that is not listed on here. So let's go over here, clear this out. So you could adjust the fan speed on this. It's it's pretty quiet. I think um, you know, I don't know about running it at full speed, but full speed would drop the temps down. Uh, and obviously, you know, this CPU cooler is better for something like the i5 13400, which is actually what I meant to install this with. Um, it's just by accident that I did it with this one, and it's really. Um, turns out that in some aspects it's it works all right so we're good to go let's reset this one more time and pull the trigger and we should get up over 90 degrees this time Ninety two. See the wattage I think was a little better, a little higher, I should say. Yep, thermal throttled. And now it's at a hundred. That should be done shortly. So this CPU core is just on the verge of being good enough to run this benchmark. Um, obviously it's a little bit bigger. It would work. And uh, crap. So we, of course, screwed up. We're going to have to run that again. Hopefully I'll remember to edit that out. Um, the 10 minutes one is really a CPU cooler serious tester. Um, so we're going to let this thing cool. You can see, obviously, we got to 100. That way, I didn't get you a score. There's the max wattage. So we're gonna let this thing cool off and we're gonna hit it again. Interesting enough though, where the i7-13700K and the i9 are really hard to cool. This one, you know, you could almost do it with this cheap cooler. Now let me make sure while we're waiting for this to cool off, I tell you guys exactly which model this is. Thermal Ride Assassin X 90SC CPU air cooler. It has four heat pipes, all right? And obviously it has the LGA 1700 kit. And we should be cool now, right? So let's go ahead and uh, crank this thing again. So we will switch this out for a different thermal right cooler. You know, ideally I would use the same CPU and just run through every one of my CPU coolers. That would give the best 
idea of how they compare similar platforms. All right, so we are ninety seven was the high. I don't think I saw it thermal throttle. And that's right in that area where it would power usage slightly less than before. Uh, what was the score? Twenty three five six four. So on my other screen, let's see how that compares, folks. Let's switch over. And for a second, you're going to see OBS. Um, so that ends up down here somewhere. What did I say? Sorry. 23564. 23564. So it's worse than any of the other tests I've run. You can blame the RAM speed on that, most likely. Um, all of these have more RAM and have uh, higher higher speed RAM, right? But, uh, yeah, there you go. That's the test. Thanks for checking out. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.